Hi guys, welcome back to Nail Art 101. So today we're going to be talking about striping tape and then furthermore how we can use striping tape for a negative space manicure. So you can use striping tape or um, decals as I'm going to use in this video today, just a decal of just a straight line. So basically it's like striping tape that you can buy from a nail art supply store where it comes in a big roll but decals also just come in like already pre-cut strips so you don't have to bother um, cutting them. So I'm going to use it today to give us some negative space on each nail and we can just explore this kind of look in nail art. I see negative space manicures all over social media. A lot of the nail artists that I really admire their work are using a lot of negative space and just a little bit of um, line work or freehand work, a little bit of color, but just showing some nice, beautiful, natural nail underneath. So um, we're going to kind of explore that today, but a more geometric version of it. And further on in this series, we'll look at using negative space and just different free freehand um, techniques. So I'm going to go ahead and show you here, right here. This is the first part of this video. We're going to look at just using the decal to create some negative space without adding anything extra to it. So if you wanna just stop right there, we can, or you can do this, and that's what we'll do second. So some things that I use as a nail art brush, this is from the brand Kiss, and then I also used acrylic paint. We're gonna thin it down quite a bit for this video, which is just adding water. Pretty Serious Presence, which is my go-to white. This was great for this video. I only needed one swipe, pretty much. And then we use the Rika Top Coat. I have a lot of favorites, um, but I just use this one today. So for the first nail, I'm going to share with you just a really, I really like this nail a lot. I use it a lot for a really just fresh looking nail, but a little bit of negative space. And I just feel like it's a great way to wear a white. I enjoy it actually for a lot of different things. So as you can see, I just took like a slightly curved decal um, you could even not use a, a curved one, you could just use straight up um, striping tape and put it across that bottom part of your nail. And then what's going to happen, as you can see, when you lift it up, it just leaves a nice line there. So I used a curved one, but you can barely even see that it's curved. So I think this looks great even just with a basic striping tape. It leaves a little bit of that nail at the bottom. For me, that's the part of my nail that is the least colored because I do have porous nails. I sometimes get yellowed nails. That part of my nail is very rarely yellowed because it's right near the base. This is the next nail. I took a thicker piece of um, striping tape or decal and I put it kind of um, not all the way to the side of my middle nail but not right in the middle. So I'm painting both sides of the decal and it's going to leave a nice thick strip um, vertically on the nail as you will see here in just a second. So, anytime now. <laughs> and I pull it up here and as you can see, there's a little bit where it's not exactly precise and that's really easily fixed as I'm gonna show you right here. So I just take my cleanup brush, which as you can see has been messed with by my children and it's not exactly <laughs> in pristine shape, um, but it does the job. So it just has a little bit of acetone on it. And I'm just cleaning it up just a little bit. And actually, later on in the video, we're gonna add a little bit of detail work to this and you, it's really gonna make you know any imperfections disappear. So here I am adding the top coat again to this nail. I'm gonna show you how I do each of these nails um, in the basic form first, and then we'll add the extra stuff later. So here is the ring finger, and I'm taking that same size of decal or striping tape and I'm putting it right in the middle of the nail and I actually really thought this one looked cool. I had never tried this um, specific placement before but it was really fun and um, so yeah and this one actually pulls up really really cleanly which was also a lot of fun. So if you can hear in the background there I'm so sorry but my son's wristwatch is going off. I decided to just go ahead and go with it. So here we go. This is actually pretty satisfying. <laughs> really nice little lift there. I think that was my the one that performed the best. Of course, not due to me, but the decal happened to do a pretty good job right there. So, um, yep, top coating that before we go in with the acrylic paint. And then the last nail, here's one little bit. Then there's the other little bit. 
and I'm just gonna be painting a line right in the middle. So you could even just do this with a striping brush, but if you want a very nice precise line and not have to worry about doing any um, line work with your detail brush, you can always just use striping tape in this manner. And I'm sorry, but I'm out of the um, camera line just a little bit here, but it'll pop back in a second. So there you see, it's really nice and crisp. Really easy way to do it. It does take some time lining up that tape though. So you just pick which one you want. So that's basically it for the look. Here's what we're gonna do next. So we're just gonna be adding some black acrylic paint. It takes the look a little bit more edgy and this is really gonna help you practice your freehand because we're gonna be using the crisp lines we've already been made with the striping tape and just kind of tracing them. Now, as you can see, I already kind of fobbled there. So I had to go in from the other angle and still, I was having a hard time here because I wasn't resting my wrist on the table. I was having an angle issue. Lots of times when I'm filming here for you, I can't always get my, oh look, I'm showing you an example of when I kept having to put my thumb in the way, I could see my face in the striping brush. And here's my thumb, nice and big in the view. I just wanted to show you that kept getting in the way. So anyway, <laughs> I made a line across the top. And then to make it even, um, I, I really liked it this way, just adding an extra vertical line. I just thought it looked rather nice. Um, yeah, it just looks really clean, but it gives that edgy look because it's very geomet geometric. And here I am just firming up these lines. So if this seems really scary to you, the idea of painting these like really dramatically stark white and white and black lines, this just takes practice, you guys. And you really want to make sure that you are resting your wrist on the table. It's going to give you um, such a better experience. <laughs> so um, yeah, definitely do that. Here I am on the fourth finger, on the ring finger. Nope, that's not, this is the middle finger. Um, so here I am just tracing those lines. And then this one's going pretty good. And then what's gonna happen is I'm gonna move over to that other one. And my hand's gonna just get shaky again, like how it kind of was on the first one. See here, I fobbled off that line and it just kind of, Ooh, it just kind of got a little bit messed up. You know what, you can always fix that stuff. So what you can either do is what I'm gonna do right here is make that line a little bit thicker so that it covers up your mistake or you can go back in, um, since this is acrylic paint, if you let it dry, you can take a toothpick and just scratch that part off um, or you can go, try to go back over with white. But then because I was adding some more design here, I'm actually gonna try to make the best of it and kind of incorporate it into my design. So I'm gonna go in here with some, I'm making some triangles here on this side, and then I'm actually going to extend it out into the negative space. So actually all of the designs that I came up with for these nails were totally impromptu. I just kind of took my striping tape, placed it down, and then once the first initial look was done, which like I said, you can totally just stop there. You don't have to do this part with the black, but I urge you to try it if you're a little bit scared of it. Um, pick up these Kiss nail art brushes. You can get them at Walgreens, you can get them at CVS. They come in a pack of three. I've talked about them in every nail art video so far because they're very helpful. I actually learned about them from Spifter, Spifster herself. If you follow her Instagram, she is, I'm just major fangirl of hers. She's amazing. Um, but she answered a comment and I noticed it in one of the, in the comment section of one of her Instagram pictures and she said that that's the nail art brushes that she uses. She uses the Kiss brand and then you take all the paint off of them and you don't use the paint pots that come with the nail polishes or with the striping brushes, you just use the stripers. And I've enjoyed them so far. You can get like the striping brushes in the store or from the nail art um, supply companies but they're really, really long and they're kind of hard to deal with sometimes. These aren't quite as long. They're usually, these are actually like about half size of other ones that I've tried. So anyway, I like them. So a key to using black acrylic paint if you're doing line work, if you want a thin, precise application, you have to thin out the acrylic paint. So I'm adding water to my um, palette and then I just mix it in until I get the desired consistency. Having that um, water mixed in there is really just gonna let your paint glide easier. You're gonna have a l much less tricky time. So here I am just basically making this up as I go. I'm just like, well, how can I use the space here? So I wanted to pull those lines out that were incorporated in the triangle on the side of the nail and pull them through the negative space. And 
So yeah, not much like of a plan there. Just kind of was going with what was feeling good. And this Rika top coat, it's not my favorite for using for nail art. It is nice and glossy, but you do have to wait a little bit. So I made sure to wait before applying that, just so you know, I probably waited like five minutes. Okay, so this is the um, pinky nail. And this one was really fun. This is the one that just had the stripe down the middle and I'm just gonna go over these stripes. I think I probably had the most success just making a nice um, straight line on this nail. However, you will see me here really go over a few times. Um, and just like I said, practice, practice, practice. Your hand will get more comfortable being steady. Rest your wrist on the table. Um, lots of times when you're doing um, your nails not in front of the camera, you can hold it up right in front of your face and it's so much easier to get a nice view of what you're doing. So anyway, after I put those two um, vertical lines on, I'm going in with some horizontal lines here just to kind of, you know, add just a little something extra. I thought it needs just a little bit more. So I just decided to add two lines, one thin and one thick. And I was like, oh, there, you know, sometimes less is more. I was like, it just needs two more little lines. And then I was like, all right. So uh, <laughs> if you try these out, just do what I did. Just place some striping tape down then remove it, see where the negative space is, and then, um, you know, just go with it. So it looks like I actually decided to do the pinky one and now I'm doing the ring finger. So this is the one that had the big, just kind of keyhole <laughs> cut out of the middle. Okay, so now here's an example of something you will run into um, with your freehand striping. So see how, where my, where my end of my brush is up there against it kind of leaves these little unfinished lines at the top there, not at the end of my nail because I'm able to drag the polish off the nail. But see there, as you're, you know, you can see it really obviously looking at it, they're very like blunt, not finished looking lines. And I'm gonna be able to fix that here in a little bit, but it takes a little bit of effort. So I'm going in there just really carefully with this brush. What you can do is instead of keep trying to fix it with a striping brush like this, you can go in with a very small detail brush. That's what I probably would have done, but I was able to fix it here just with this method, but I probably would have gone in with just a little detail brush and you could just firm up those edges and make them really nice and tight. So anyway, I'm just, I'm just lining this negative space and we're actually not gonna do anything more here. Here's where I got frustrated. I was like, okay, I really need a steady, steady finger and I need it closer to my face. So I got a little bit out of frame here to bring it up a little bit closer to my face. But see how I'm able to just get a lot more precision there? That's what I needed. So um, anyway, I think I actually pulled my hand out of camera view here because I just I got my thumb in the way and I was just like, you know what? I need it like really close to my face. And I was able to just kind of firm it up. So that's what I'm gonna do here. Here's what it looked like. Um, Oh, it's gonna show you in just a second what it looked like when I was finished. So I, I messed with this quite a bit. This wasn't just like a simple little, um, you know, do it in five seconds kind of thing. This took me a little bit of time. Definitely if you want the super fast version, see there's how I finished it. And I think I even cleaned up that little part on the bottom right too afterwards. So anyway, here's the finished look. Like I said, if you just want super simple, just mess around with that striping tape. Put a glossy top coat over the top. It looks really fresh and chic, but if you wanna take it a little bit further, go this way. So anyway, um, thanks for watching my video today, guys. I hope you had some fun, learned some things, practice these techniques, and um, yeah, definitely if you try any of them, share them with me on Instagram. I hope you're having a really great day, and yeah, I will see you guys back next time. Take care, bye. So I saw that Lasha had their summer and spring collection in mini form um, on Trans Design, and for some reason their spring collection didn't show up there for a while on Trans Design. So when I did that review, unfortunately a lot of you guys couldn't find it to purchase it for a little while, which I was 